Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Adborn Real Estate Insights. My name is Joy Adibayo. I'll be your facilitator for today's training, today, 27th of February, 2023. And we start uh, with the topic of the training, which says, importance of easement and setback within a property. So we start by analyzing this uh, image on the screen. This image is simply showing the way easements and uh, setback are done in, within a property. So we have uh, different houses within a community. We have a road network showing setback, sidewalk, utility, drainage, and different uh, different amenities within a, a community. So we use that to continue the training. So first we define what easement is. Easement is the legal right given to another person or entity to trespass upon or use, or use land owned by someone else. What do we mean by this? Easement, when, when you have the right to use someone's land, which is not yours. They call it easement because you can pass through the land without being someone or being, being offend, without offending the owner of the land. So I said, in other words, an easement is a portion of land designated accessible to others beyond the land owner. So when you talk about easement, it's not necessarily, you don't need to get a court order or get uh, an approval before you can access easement. So we go ahead by looking at example of easement within a property in an estate. So this is an estate, a typical estate. If a property owner in this part wants to access, let's say there's a facility in, in there. The owner has to go through the road to access. That means these other places belong to other people. It shows that you can't fly from your house to there. So the, the approval, the right you have to go through the road to access the utility there, it's what we know as is meant. Now let's look at setback. Setback refers to the minimal distance a building or structure must be from something else. Typically, this is the distance from a road, highway, or land boundary. Setback, in most cases, is given by zoning restriction. Different countries with different uh, measurements. In Nigeria, for example, you must have three meters away from the highway, from the major road. <coughs> so that's what our setback is. In, before you build, you must be able to measure a three meter from the road, from the major road to where you want to build. So we have a diagram showing something similar to that. So you don't build close to the to the road or the highway or major places when you are building. That what we have ourselves setback. So example of setback within a property. This is a typical property. So this is the road. The distance here must be three meter wide to the road. So you mustn't build close to the road when you are about to build. That doesn't mean you don't own the land, but you are not allowed to. So now we look at the importance of easements within a property. So the first one it says, easement helps keep the peace between neighbors and communities. So when we have easement it creates peace. It shows that you can access public utilities without 
being summoned by anybody. The second one is, is men give <coughs> right to public utility uses, just like we mentioned earlier. And it told us easements are helpful for providing pathways across two or more pieces of property. The right of way is also another importance of easement. And the right to light and air in between um, two properties to have ventilation so you don't build close to each other. So that's what we mean by light and air. And light, maybe you want to uh, pick electricity from one point to the other. <coughs> so you have the right to do so. These are the importance of easements. And now we look at the importance of setback. Now we have about eight items set here. But first we look at the diagram here to, to show the way setback are being are important within a building. We have the setback, we have the build, the build area. So you can see two buildings together. They are set back side by side, which is always three meters side in Nigeria. We have the driveway, we have the street, and we have other utilities around it. So the first one it says, set back helps to ensure security. From your house, when you have a setback, you can be able to see across the road what is happening. If it's, um, you have to go out to do something, if anything is happening within your environment. The second one says, a uni it gives a uniform neighborhood, just like we show in the former estates. So if you have a setback, you can be able to have a uniform neighborhood, a uniform building in the same community. It helps also in environmental protection. When you say environmental protection, it shows that you can have different utility and not, uh, and not colliding with each other. They also allow public utility to access buildings. When we say public utilities, we mean the road, the electricity, the water system, the drainage to be able to access one building to the other. And the fifth one says it gives better services, like in case of fire. When there is fire incident, it won't be able to catch up with the adjoining building if they are set back. But in the cases where we don't have set back, when there is fire in one building, it can get to the other building. So the next one it says, it gives better sound insulation from streets, roads, and so on. So it can have a better sound. Know that when someone is in one building, they will be hearing echo from someone else's window or flat. So when you have setback, it helps to prevent that. So you won't be hearing the conversation from one building. Just like we have this building, we can't hear what's happening in the next building because of the setbacks. So the next one it says, it can give you better gardens, landscape between habitat space and traffic outside. Just like we are between this building and the road. If there is traffic, though we can sometimes hear the sound, but it's not as if the fumes from the cars, they are getting to us here in the office. So we also have, it, it gives aesthetical better space by giving more open space than semi-cover and cover space, giving a sense of ease and welcome into a building. With this, you can be able to have a good design within your building. So, conclusion. What we have here is that easements are everywhere. They are the roads you drive on, 
the driveway behind a neighbor's house, the parts you use to walk your dog, the parts you play in, and so much more. Like we have the NDBC Cali Park, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of amazement that anybody can go in there to uh, relax and, uh, and uh, have a time out with family and friends. Also, you taking a walk from here to Allen Junction, it's a way of uh, easement as well. Nobody will question you, why are you working? If you have an estate and you're trying to walk a dog, nobody will stop you, why are you making use of the pathway? So, easements are everywhere. If you build a house and you want to tap electricity from the main, from the transformer far away, from your building. Nobody is going to ask you why are you doing that because you have the right to do so. And for setback, it says it plays an integral role for any building. The purpose is to ensure one building does not infringe on, on another building's rights to sunlight, ventilation, renew, and vehicular access. So when you have a setback, it's very important because of all these roles it plays. So whenever we try to explain to people why we, we are saying we have to wait till we have a layout, a planning, road network, and the rest at that board, we are trying to bring all this into play so that we will have a scatter planning. So with all of this, I know we've learned a few points about easement and setback. So thank you everyone for listening. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, kindly drop in the comment section and we attend to you. Thank you very much.